So I'm going to go with Wildcard winning this one today, Bly. Really? Yeah. So I yeah. still think 90 should be favorites here. I think they're going to turn things around. It's going to be a fast play coming in towards B. Stan, flash and ready. Two defenders on a B bomb site, and rotation's close by. Damn, Buddha. That's a good start of the pistol. Wild card or water closet. That's their called at the top. The WC is open for business and Buddha is shooting right. on them. <laughs> headshot locked in. Fuzi out of there. Bomb planted and a retake scenario being set up. But Susp with a headshot on Martinez. He's going to go back again. Swinging into Hwasso Peak and That's eat big. that. Eat some lead. Oh, they're chowing down on it now. Headshots galore. Buddha still fighting, still frying. Four kills for Buddha. And this could be a religious win for him. Soft what? goes down, and that's all five. Buddha with some miraculous plays. Gets 9Z the pistol round win. Nothing but headshots from Buddha. Absolutely <laughs> annihilates Wildcard. Holy hell, that an ace to start the game, Dinko. You love to see that if you're an 9Z fan. Oh yeah, you absolutely love that. And Sospi's striking them back in. He's cutting off any players that could come in from heaven and make this uncomfortable. But Buddha was just not missing shots. He just did not miss. He's there, Sosp. We've been noticing a trend for a few teams where the cave player, usually the star player, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're kind of moving out from cave and playing on a B-bomb side while you have the, you know, the IGL, the more supporting role players switching off towards cave. And it seems to be a bit of a shift in the meta. Uh, the most uh, obvious one is Rain and Caravan switch, switching positions, but I've seen this with a couple of other teams as well. Max tucked into the corner, no one to help. Actually, no, he does have a teammate. Perfect bait setup, and the trades are good. Yeah, CT stay on top. I sent a comment, it was, it, oh my goodness, okay, Sonic, that is a big boom on the Hwaso Peak, and now with 50 seconds left, the bomb making its way out of main, and DGT was trying to watch that cross, but he's decided to go into the temple instead. Wildcard have a way back into this round, but it's a great reposition from DGT. The smoke did not pop in time, and JBA walks into the open, exposed to the temple, and loses his life, which puts it on his teammates to try and close this one out. Fuzi and Sonic. Players that we were once so familiar with that have now returned. And Buddha looking to fight the Madonna, the double peak, the aggression. It's worked out from Wildcard, but now they know exactly where the last two remaining players are. And Sonic, he's losing health rapidly. There's no defuse happening. He knows they're off it. They're trying to push him down, but he's doing a great job of staying alive, and there's no kit. There's no time. He's won the round. Sonic has played this one to perfection. They might have it? No, they have no kit. So they have no to kit? run away. So this is it. Bro. It's going to be a 2-0 problem for 9Z. They won a two in a row, but... That sounds more Norwegian. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah you have uh, experience with that. Uh, anyway, Sonic coming out mid, charging in towards middle. DD with the Wasso <laughs> Peak <laughs> following up. And uh, okay. uh, 9Z bouncing back immediately after their first round loss here on Ancient. Yeah, immediate reply back. Save day 47 coming in real handy in the hands of DGT. Five from Fozy, but not able to get the double. It's all on Stannis Lawn. Unfortunately, think of the bombs been spotted as well. Smoked off. Man, not really much of a chance here for the veteran. The Stannis Law veteran. Damn, Stannis Law is uh, he's leveled up since I last see him. Tatted up. He's swole. He's got a new haircut. It's great to see Stannis Law back in action. Looking fresh. <laughs> yeah, very fresh. Timing. Will work out for Huaso Peak. What a name, the Huaso. Huaso Peak. Peak. I wouldn't have drawn that connection. There we go. The I, I just thought the big pur bucks. purple used to be for the nobles and the royals, right? And so, yeah, it's royalty a, of Counter Strike. You know why? Uh, it was a very rare die. Yes, indigo. Yeah. The rare dive which you get all also, over India. Also, that's how the, uh, the Stoicism philosophy began. And one of the, the founders of Stoicism, his, his ship actually sunk with all of the purple dye on board and his whole life got ruined. And he had to figure out a way of coping with that. Hwasso Peak peeking out, it's gonna be Stannis Law going down, pistols oh. trying to charge out and overwhelm him. He does well to get a second, he was in a very committed position. Now Martina is with a high up view model looking to rain Hellfire from above. He's done well to get one kill. Sus going down. Sonic also oh, toppling and a great recovery of the round from 9Z. So they're up 3-1. No bomb plant again. So money in the bin for wildcard. 
quite a few. You can read, read some interesting ones out, right? What's your favorite season? Do you mean, yeah, seasons as in life, you know, spring, summer? I think season. Uh, the What's final, your favorite season? The final season of Breaking Bad was... That's your no. favorite season? Yeah. Oh, that's good to know. My least favorite season is season 8 of Game of Thrones. I think that's a comp. Yeah. Dealing for a lot of people. Yeah. All right. Um... Okay, let's let's see how this round plays out first, Inka. Uh, it's a buy round. Oh, it's an important round. Sure, Max getting into the smoke, being a little bit of a nuisance, and ooh, spotted out by Stannis. Yeah, Stannis Law having no problem dealing with. There was that. a gap in the smoke there. He's trying to be cheeky. Wasso Peak alone. Oh yeah, Wasso Peak definitely alone gets caught in middle. It's going to be a comfortable victory here for Wildcard. Just a lot of clean openers. This one's done. Yeah, they're isolated, and even if they. You want the CTs get a pick, they should be traded. So take a look very quickly at the mailbag. Uh, so... To if this map is more T or CT sided. I'll leave that one to you, Black. I, I, I feel, uh, honestly, I feel Ancient might be one of the more quote-unquote balanced maps, right? I, I think there are a lot of things... It, it has a certain meta as how you want to approach it, but uh, depending on how you, you know, watch certain teams play different play styles, you'll see the score lines can fluctuate back and forth. I, I think this is kind of 50-50. Maybe uh, swinging a little bit CD-sided, depending on you know how the map control is taken, because you know a lot, of, a lot of cities now go for the mid-fires and lane control and whatnot, uh, but you will see T's able to slow things down. I like the way this map plays out. I think it it's very heavily dependent on the stylistic yeah. approaches and what they do. Uh, yeah, it, I think it's more of a 55, 45 CT favor, slightly. Yeah. Good early damage done over to wildcard players. Fuzzy Stannis Law taking the brunt of that damage early on. We got three CTs holding down the B bomb site so forward, and they're gonna creep their way further and further down the ramp. Stannis Law just waiting for this aggression, and it's coming. I like this. Yeah, I like it from Buddha, but Ooh. he gets caught. Stannis Law completely ready to hold it off, and Martinez, good trade. Smoke was blown open for just a moment that he takes Fuzzy out of contention. Oh, the fade away. JBA is not gonna be a happy camper after that. And All right. For wild card, they have control of mid and peel back from B. But I love this push from Wasso P. Yeah, you like that? I love it. Yeah. Do you like it? I love it. Yeah. He's pushed all the way through main and he's going to keep going perhaps. But uh, at the moment, wild card now spotted. Ooh, DGT swings into the open. There was no need for it. Yeah, he gives away the advantage that 9Z had on manpower. And that does force Max to have to change up his spot, leaving a weakness on the B bomb site. And that's where wild card want to finish. But it's Martinez over on the B bomb seconds. site alone. Yeah, he's done enough. And time is the problem here for wild card. Martinez should nail this follow up, and he does. Straight through the chest of Sonic, not enough time to make anything happen here for Stannis Law. And so he's going to back away, he's going to save his AK, and we're seeing 9C head to 5. Uh, I see a good uh, comment, it was try and pronounce the real names of the 9Z players. Give it our best go. Okay, we'll, All right. we'll, we'll try. Uh, we'll wanna... Okay, let's both try or take turns, we don't do. Martinez, come on, blood. Antonio Martinez. Yeah, this, this isn't that hard. Uh, okay, okay, all right. okay. Uh, also peak. Ma Matthias. Matthias. Ibanez. Ibanez. Hernandez. There we go. I think we did pretty decent. That was that was all right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Teacup Strem says, "What is his professional casting?" Ah, uh, we apologize. Yo, I think we've. I think he's just upset. We invaded his his personal space, which is the Twitch chat. <laughs> and, uh, we, we've gone into his personal safe space. Yeah, I'm sorry. Usually, man. there's no interaction there, but uh, we shall resume. We are in here yapping. That, that, that wasn't hard at all. I thought you'd ask to pronounce the Mongolian, the Mongols players' names. Now that... Yeah, that would be hard. Yeah. Well, good work. It's going to be Sonic to fall down to 12 HP. But the bomb's all the way towards T-spawn. And this worked out for Hwaso Peak. Second headshot in. Sus going down. Fuzi on the double and Max to trade it out. Just JBA left all alone and Bomb is nowhere near him. So that's a massive problem that he has to try and find a way around, and he can't get past Martinez. Well, now we know why he's called Wasser Peak. Man, I can just can't stop. Fine. All right, football commentary, go. Middle. They move out. DGT. Wasser Peak. Oh, Sonic. Sonic. Running in. Martinez. Edge of the oh! Golasso! And the bomb plan now coming in. Sonic, DGT, peeking it down. DGT getting traded by Susp. And this has actually turned out to be an even number situation. Martinez over the top of the box knocks Susp down, leaving Stanislaw, or Stanislav, alone in this 1v2. 
He's going to come right back into it all the way around main. And there's a chance, but Martinez is scoped up, primed, and ready to go. Nade. Uh, not effective. If he landed right on Martinez, might have been able to ruin his day. But he's just trying to bait that shot out of the upper. If he's able to force Martinez to miss, then he's got a shot at this. And he gets past that first iron goal, does damage, couldn't finish off Martinez, and Buda nails the headshot when given the opportunity. Old dude, moderately excited. <laughs> In Spanish commentary, it's it's just wild. Oh, look oh, at this. Fuzzy. Oh, big swing. Buddha doing damage. Could have find the follow-up. It's going to be Sonic and Fuzzy fighting back. And Fuzzy is combat oh opening. God. It's absolute chaos, blur. <laughs> but it's wild card on top. How is this so quick? What was that? <laughs> oh, I'm I'm flummoxed how, how Fuzzy's able to get two kills from a position. Oh, that thing, that thing is clear. He heard a sound. They're coming dead into towards Adenko. Yeah, they're coming towards him. Give him Martinez the chance. He knows the bomb has just presented itself and he misses the shot. Goes to the Tech 9 instead and now spots out his second victim out towards Big Box. So Plant is down there. There's now a timer on this play and he misses his shot. There was opportunities there, but I like how confident Stanislaw Law was to continue that fight towards CT spawn. A third round picked up for wild card. Where do you keep that hat when you're not wearing it, Blah? On my knee. Oh, that's disappointing. I was thinking it was going to be going somewhere else. But no cap. Wild card held back in A main, not able to extend through the fire and flames. Through the fire and the flames. All five players grouping up here. Head of the dragon, JBA. Ooh. Wow, Ooh. boost is perfect. Sonic elevated upon his teammate's head. And that's going to work out for a nice, easy kill into the A bomb site. Wild card have control of the site. And 9Z not really in a position to fight. They might just go for the save here. And a fourth round, yeah. That's that's lovely work from Wildcard, and they're even trying to hunt down some of these weapons that are attempted to be saved, and Sus getting one extra, but the most important key is Martinez holding on to the AWP. That is the joke. It's oh. a fake email, Blah. Okay. Yeah. I want to. Uh, you can read it a few more times, and maybe you'll get the joke. All right. Um, maybe you could sign up for Scientology and find out what it's all about. Yeah, my favorite movie actor is a part of that. It's, you only have to sign a one Ooh. billion year contract. I'm sure you're fine with that. DGT blinded and still successful. And 9C have the opening. Well, they have the advantage for the time being. And Max getting aggressive. Ooh, could get a little bit risky. That stuff was close to the extremity of that smoke. Start though for 9Z and Martinez is he's, he's playing an aggressive game. He's gonna find the first, should get the second kill as well. Yeah, and it's all on Stanislaw finds one, but it's now in a 1v3. Dude, if that if Stanislaw wins this, oh, I'll clear my pack. No, no, he's not able to do it. <laughs> he's not able to do it. Eight to four half, 9Z in the lead on Ancient, looking to try and take this in the second half. We'll find out if they can do it after the break. Yeah, and in all honesty, it, it just feels like 9Z have been, not, apart from the scoreline as well, just been a dominant team overall, right? Sure, a couple of rounds didn't quite pan their way, the aggress aggression out towards mid and B, and this is interesting. All five towards mid, Dinko, and Max, he's taking a fight to them. The flash is good, they find two, suspect to reply, and they know everyone's at mid. Yeah, so they've got a lot of information as to why they should feel comfortable about charging into the A bomb site. So the plant is coming in. Nice shot from Huaso Peak. Martinez stepping up in return, and Sus able to battle back for two, but there's still two players to collect. Smoke and a kit. Yeah, but that's a big difference, isn't it, Blaise? Smoke and a kit to play with. He can apply pressure onto that defuse, and he may actually get away from, with a full stick here. But he's just going to tap it. He's going to draw that CT player into the open. He's got to be careful what he wishes for, because Martinez sits him down in another little dance. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a great old spot in Malta, and Counter-Strike just keeps coming back. There's a lot of places to, like, you know, eat as well, drink, the people are fun. And as Alex Sheen Richardson was saying today, Mella. What? It's a, it's a versatile word in Maltese. Mella. 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 Yeah. Well, Stanislaw does what does it mean? Oh, uh, God. It's, it's a word that just has many uses, you know? It's just like... Okay. It's just a good filler word. It's like the, it's like the K word in Polish. No. That's no. quite different, actually. Okay, all right. Um, <laughs> I don't want to say it. Yeah, that's, a, that's a bad word, but, um There's a little difference. Is that a bad word? Just... Yeah, it's definitely a bad word, yes. But it's... Uh, 
kind of lost its sensitivity, I, I believe, especially on the internet. It's one of my favorite words. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. I know it would be. Bomb planted, 9Z just holding on to it, looking to convert into a 10th round victory. It's a force buy here, but considering he picked up an AK-47, I just say peel away. You don't have a kit to work with apart from a smoke. You know, maybe try and pick up another kill, so Stan can potentially pick up uh, another rifle here. And yeah, I think this is the right call. Stan's gonna be leading the way, but Max should get this kill. Yes, he will indeed. But as long as the two rifles survive, I think Wildcard are gonna be okay with it. But that being said, Dinko, just uh, three rounds remain for 9Z to close this one out. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's rough. Yeah. You lose that fight against a MAC-10, and that's another important weapon that could have been saved, not carried over into the next round. So the only player to keep his gun is Fuzi on the AK-47. And I think Wildcard is going to be incredibly disappointed. Our friends in the chat with letting them know what the rest of the series looks like. Uh, the rest of the series is, of course, a map coming in from Wildcard. After this, we have Nuke getting picked by 9Z. And if we do need a decider, it's going to be on the I don't dry... know if that's two what? I don't, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, third. This is looking very, very dominant from 9Z. And they're so good on Nuke. But it's this awful. is the, the chance for Wildcard to start stepping up, and two openings in mid is perfect. DGT lies in wait. Oh, they seem to be unaware. Smoke. Oh, no. oh yeah. That's a nice headshot for DGT. Good trade. Traded by Sonic, and yeah. it does feel like Wildcard in the early stages of this round have done enough to turn this into their victory. I do say that, but they've slipped their way into the B-bomb site, and we have seen stranger rounds happen. 2v4 is possible, especially with the positioning that 9Z have. They need a kill here. Bit of a fake coming in. I like that there's no peak. I like that there's no overface here from any of the wildcard players, but eventually they get the fight they desire, and Buddha will pick up that frag on Susp. Now here's Stana's Law. Up the ramp, around the back, instant kill on the Alper. Now Buddha left at a 1v3. Sonic's very low. And that rifle looking to nip at their heels. Low HP player, sure, but he's worried about the peak from Fuzi and for good reason as the Alper comes in to extend to five rounds and Wildcard have to go on a huge streak now off the back of this. Well handled there. It's still a long way to go, the Dinko, so... Seen some uh, interesting questions on uh, the mailbag. I can't answer some of these. <laughs> yeah, you Ooh, can. Ooh, Sus, that's a dangerous game there, buddy. But he does have Fozy. There's a turret. Okay, all what right. What is happening? Martinez. All the damage is happening without seeing anybody at the moment. They're trying to aggress right now. They have so much information. Oh, this is huge for Maxi. I wouldn't like if it was you. <laughs> well, I mean, I can be gentle. But you know a massage blood from you, then I'm in. I'll give you a massage. Yeah, give me a good... Now, point. four players on his B-bomb site, but there is a flank. And this flank is everything. And they now they know. Oh. Oh, why? Okay. Oh. Uh, that's oh. not clean. That's There's not pretty. Still a player in cave. Still a player in cave. Stands there. Is he going to be able to stand tall? That's the question. Good kill on Tawaso Peak. 2v3. Yeah, still a lot of work to be done, but Stanislaw Law taking him at least a step closer. Another flank. Yeah, Max has played this one. Oh, he's actually trying to Oh, but he turns back wow. again, and Max catches the perfect time. I mean, Stanislaw can't change the outcome of this round. It's 12 to 5, map point for 9Z. My Z talk doesn't really... All right, that's the same. Final potential round here on map one, and Max has got to open things up, but Stan, creeping in through the smoke, finds the GT. Swapping out to the AK-47, but that's going to open up a window here towards ramp, and this is a perfect call from 9Z. They know there's at least one player towards cave, and they're walking into what is almost an empty site, so JBA needs to go nuclear. J. B. A. Say it again. J. B. A. J. B. A. And he's got himself too. Ball is down. And that is exactly what the defense needed. A big step up from... J. B. A. And that's what we're talking about. 9C, yeah. two players left. Not exactly in the fight here, but Max, his flying could unravel the round. If he's able to win this fight against the Alper, and that's too tough of a shot for him to land. And it'll end up having to be a good old save call for Martinez. It's a long old save. Say JBA like EA Sports is in the game. Ooh, lucky day. Uh, okay. JBA. It's in the game. Yeah. What is some iconic, like, opening? Uh, 
Sega. That's a good one. Something like that. I never owned a GameCube, so I can't. What? You never owned a GameCube? I never owned a GameCube. I think I was a poor, I was a poor child. That's okay. I played with sticks and stones. Sticks and stones didn't break your bones. Oh, they did. <laughs> <laughs> they did. Oh no, oh, that's an ugly. Was boy. it you playing with him or someone? <laughs> Oh, that's what we call Hwaso Peak. Yeah. Oh, Stan. Oh, Stan. Oh, Stan. The kissing. <laughs> and he's dead. The kiss of death. Mwah. Mwah. And now 9Z left with a 5 versus 3. JBA coming back into red. Maybe we can summon some hero plays again. Nope. Too late. Kuze. Oh. Ooh. A little back and forth, but 9Z oh, it's now over. stand. At the edge of victory here on Ancient. Oh, it's over. Max knows. Little bit of susp. Sussy P. Sus heading his way down Play. the bottom of B, and it's worked out onto Buddha. Not a worshipper, it seems. And now susp left alone. They know exactly where he is, so 9Z going to be making a sprint to the A bomb site to close this out in a 3v1 fashion. Now, there are a couple of players that are low. Sus making no secret where he's coming from. Yeah. And he should be peaked from elbow, and that should be the moment that closes out this map. 13 to 6 victory, comprehensive victory from 9Z on the opening map of this series. Wildcard lose their pick, and now the hard work begins as we head to Nuke. That's fair enough. Here we go, Wildcard CT side, 9Z starting on the T side. And everybody with Kevlar bar Buddha, he's got a little flash to play with. Are we going to be seeing another Buddha play is the question here. He got that ace and the CT pistol earlier as well. So Peak will get destroyed by JBA. JBA, we love him. And he's able to open up that first headshot. Stanislaw and Sonic holding on to the rest, and it's a clean, clean. pistol round win, Jinx. <laughs> It'll be silent now, blah. <laughs> Damn it, until I release you. There's no limit, apparently. No, but... Wait, there's More RAM, but it just depends on your RAM, right? Linus, the Linus tech, t uh, tech tips did it with two terabytes of RAM. And it's a video, so you can watch it. I can't believe that's the actual video that exists. That's cool. That was made four years ago. Wow. All right, here we go. Up a pop, very fast, very quick, as Max is going to open things up, but he will be quickly traded and stand just good for the one, and the trades are back and forth, it's fast, it's furious. There's a 3v2 in favor of the team. It's tees. all about family, blood. At the end of the day, that's what fast and furious means. And Indeed. It is well, a family of players here on 9Z. They collect their first round victory on Nuke. As soon as the guns come out, a little bit of ground and pound, and they get themselves into that upper bomb site. What's the best CS case? Ooh. Yep. Shout out to you, Connor. Here we go. Two to one. It is going to be wild card out with the M4s on two for Master JBA and a Deagle MP9 combo for the rest. That's going to be DGT. What? what? Blind it into a double kill. Looks like a collateral situation going down, and this round just melts what was that? before our very eyes. It's all tied up. That's quick. Love it. You wear it. Sonic. Left alone. I, 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 I've really enjoyed this from 9Z where they're, they're very happy just slowing things down and just like, you know. Yeah, it's it's the PC. That's what's holding me back. It's the P It's definitely the PC. Every time I come for these events, you know, I was like in Cologne and they give us this really nice Intel NECs, the, the Nooks oh. and man, just pop off there. But speaking of popping off, Sonic, they're able to pop one. But we quickly found out. Four versus four set up off the back of the early skirmishes, 9Z with the marginal lead. Now, I feel like the biggest problem for Wildcard and Ancient was they just had a really bad start into the game, right? And it just left themselves too much of a hole to dig themselves out of. Well, that had a good start here. Yeah, exactly, but they have to keep this up. That's a weird fight to lose for Max. Looked like he was given every opportunity, but Stan is a little able to pick it up. Nice little off angle there. And if Max ha was with someone else, so it definitely could have been a potential trade. But now, 3v4, 50 seconds time. No, he did not. No? 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 No, no. okay. Stanislaw gets the read, though, to look towards Vent, and Hwasopik walks right into him. Stanislaw has done very well in this round, and a dive down into the vent, it's an easy kill for Stanislaw. Presented by DGT, and now Martinez left in the vent. Now, he wasn't the hero of the first map. That's, a, that's his first kill on this second map of play, and he's killed just before the time there, so he'll have some money to play with. 
playing Counter-Strike, you stand it up. It's, this is the way to go, really. The circulation around your body keeps your thought processes quick. In theory, you could stand and play at these tournaments, right? Because they, they are standing. Yeah, there are no rules against like sitting down and playing. Well, I don't know if there I mean, JDM was lying. JDM was lying down and playing. Please. Yeah. So technically, it's possible, I guess. Oh. Fuzi, that's one way to kick off the round. Bang! Second kill from Stannis Law, and this is more like it from WC. It's uh the first kill, fine. The DGT there just by himself, hoping to try and just out duel the uh, the player playing on the on a bomb site. Not ideal. Well, that's a peak as well. A little bit of a quiet start for the man. Sonic to peek into the open. Hwaso peek to go down. And just so convincing in this round from Wildcard. It's kind of strange to see 9Z so stalled out, so ineffective in their T gun rounds. Yeah, th this is just a strange round from 9Z. It's a full buy. Uh, they didn't really do much. I don't get the reference, so I don't care. Yeah, that's fair enough. I also picked Kirby, so... Thought we were cut from the same cloth. No, we're not, Dinko. As Buddha will get a nice little trade on the Sonic. Yeah, they've got space in the ramp room to work with. Do you know much about fighting games? Not really. I was wondering, like, which... I played which, Tekken for a while. But which fighting game in their... Esports or FGC, whatever they want to call it, what do you think resembles Counter Strike the most when it comes to? I wouldn't the, have a clue. I thought it'd be Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Yeah. It's more brutal. It's bloody. You know. Get over here. Finish him. Oh, Fuzzy. This is the shot. It does get information on the whereabouts of three players. Oh my God. Okay. It's a perfect setup. Yeah. They just never were ready for Stannis Law. It's another pretty dominant round win here from Wildcard. It's hard to imagine a world in which D. GT and Max even find a way back into this, but I just don't think they will. It's it's really good work in the CT side at the moment. And appeal the uh, and appeal the way is well not offering those duels. I say that. This is scary. I think it is scary. This is actually kind of scary. Wounded players on the wild card side, and Nazi trying to get rid of one at the back of the bomb site. They've actually done so. So we're right back to a 2v2 even numbers game. 15 seconds left to plant that bomb, and it's a fake plant to draw the peak, and it's worked out to absolute perfection. I cannot believe that 9Z have recovered this. I called it done. I called it a convincing round win. Well, how wrong I was, because Wildcard let it go, and Gotta save. fight their way into it. Fuzi can't get back into this round. Uh, Damn, 9Z, there we go. Out of the fingers, indeed. Uh, people are mad at me that I called Smash a fighting game. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's be, mad, be mad at Dinko, guys. Literally only Smash players think it's a fighting game. What is it, then? And 9Z look to try and use that outside. Grenade will splatter the smoke open. Sonic unable to use it to devastating effect. And 9Z creep ever closer to secret. Max taking damage from that smoke spam, and they've taken so long the smoke fades away and gives Fuzi a chance for a free kill. But Fuzi. What's he gonna do? 5v4. When he comes for you. Oh, good utility usage, keeping them at bay, and a bomb should get planted with 20 seconds on the clock. But how are they gonna play this post plant? Three players coming in from Ram. They're still being very paranoid. But a second molly is going to buy them a little bit more time. Ten seconds now. Bomb needs to get planted here, and indeed it it's will. It's going down. Don't yeah, there worry. Go. Uh, now they've got to hold on to it. That's the difficult part. As Wildcard sending the remaining forces through ramp, there will be a late lurk coming in, but this is one for one. Sonic to clear out Buddha, and if it goes like this for the rest of the round, then it will be WC coming out on top. But Buddha, what is that? So sick, turning back for another headshot. And they're fighting back into this wall card regardless. Martinez in the control room window looking to control the fate of this round as DGT lands another headshot. It's all Fuzzy. Double doors closed. Eyes set to control room, but a quick shot out from that AWP. And 9Z take five rounds in a deficit, actually, on that post plan. That was, all, that was all Buddha and the Molotov lobbed in by the CTs on the bomb. It didn't spread quite far enough. They, didn't, they weren't expecting Buddha to be there in a position. Well handled by Buddha. Two clean headshots. Now there's just endless entertainment. Right, you, your you, you were born when the iPhone came out. What are you talking about? No, I wasn't. Well, you became sentient when the iPhone came out. Yeah, that's came true. Out. <laughs> like, the iPhone 
15. Ooh, JBA. Aggression with the Mac with the MP9. Finding DGT and Buddha's been tagged on quite low as well. Ooh. Excuse me? Okay, Sonic. Spikes to the face on that hedgehog, and now we've got ourselves 9Z having to play with a 3v5 against a weak buy. How has how this happened so early? So, uh, JBA got his kill in, inside a hut, right? Yeah, and then yeah. Sonic hits uh, a redonkulous shot through the smoke. Yeah, okay. And then uh, we had a tag on to boot the what by the AWP. What's gonna happen next, Dinko? We're gonna find out here as Fozy finds yet another kill, and this has just been a miraculous run. This is a full spy coming in from Wildcard. And a little bit of luck going the way, and also some oh! clean shots from Sonic! And all on Buddha and Denko, the round is done. What is that? That's lovely. That's Good. what that is. Yeah. I think 9Z will be okay with five rounds in this half already, but... I mean, that's got to feel like one that was stolen away from them. One that they let go. Oh, can Buddha save? Although, I love... It's not necessarily a board game, it's more of a card game. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, ooh, not a happy day for Buddha. <laughs> He's got $100 in the bank, Blep. $100. He died after the time. They found him, and they left him with nothing. D&D. D&D. <laughs> yeah, that would be the coolest D&D &D intro ever. This is a pretty solid half from uh, Wildcard, considering it's just the pistols here for the side of 9Z. I, they can make it 7 to 5. But also, 9Z on the, the flip side of your point black can make it 6 to 6. Wow. Yeah, there's two options here. You don't say. Yeah, one for one at the start of this. Oh, missed shot. Also, Peak with his little Tech 9 has done a lot with it, so it's proof that it. Dude, there are fights everywhere. Yeah, there is fights everywhere. <laughs> Complete, absolute chaos. Chaos. And it slows down. We have a moment to breathe. Ooh. And it's just right. zoom. Twasso Peak taking JPA out. Now player advantage siding with 9Z as they look to try and squeeze six rounds out of their T side. And I think they'll be incredibly happy. There's no one on, on, a, on a side playing from heaven, hell, and CT. And now we have Fozy because of how quite it's gotten peeling back towards ramp. Yeah, Sauce so coming around the backside. It's going to be a nice kill to draw those numbers to an even 3v3. And okay, Stannis Law Goop Peak. Oh, tapping through the smoke. Sauce so should have just done this now. Max has to 1v2 this. He's got to deal with Heaven and Main. Bullets are close, but not close enough. And Max is able to slip out to the back of the bomb site and have eyes towards having amazing flash. What a time. flash. That is huge. And there will be a seventh round at the half here for wild card. Seven to five lead. Remember, this is a map they have to bounce back on if they want to stay alive in this series. A bit of a heavier stack towards ramp. JBA is making a lot of noise. He's trying to sell this fake Dinko, but it's going to be an upper execute coming in. Door open. Cool. Fight for Sonic, it's gonna work well. Wet Max is now down on the ground and Wildcard continue to charge out into the open. Stanislaw following up, Fuzi in behind him and just DGT and Huasu Peak left alone. And this is gonna be a convincing knockout blow to give eight rounds over to Wildcard. And that's some great news. When you have a 7-5 lead and you win the pistol in the second half, you are setting yourselves up beautifully with a big buffer. Yeah, you're guaranteed a 9-5 and from then on, it's just about you know one small step at a time. I've seen a comment in the... Uh, uh -huh. In the chat, there was like, oh, Catan's too long, one and a half hours. But you know what? I want to play d and <laughs> I was like, fair enough, that's a good point. Wait, who, who, who wants to play d and Me. That reminds me of Dalla. Every time I see these smokes be thrown, it just reminds me of Stewie missing them over and over again. <laughs> yeah, that was so and then, funny. And then me and uh, Jason and I casting in the arena, just going, is he going to land the smokes? <laughs> and then it comes in, it lands, and everyone gives it a huge cheer. It's like, yeah, that... Ooh, Stannis Law losing most of his health. Oh, another shot taken. A lot of steps being hurt as well. Mm hmm. Oh, good up. Okay, good trade. Oh. Okay, DGT with a double kill had to be traded in the end by Fuzi, but it still keeps 9Z a player up in this situation. Remember, Max position, it is so good. He can watch who that secret player crosses over. He's ready for the door walkout. There's so many angles, so much potential for impact here for Max, but he just tucked himself into the corner. Fuzi's checked it. Will Max uh, only peek out of the good time? He will. And now that's Fuzi going down. He sees the second player and he knows where Sonic is. So he's calling his teammates to come on up and deal with this. And Sonic now tagged from secret. Two players spotted out.
Sonic grabbing one. Ten seconds. They're going to try and deny this bomb plant and end it right now. Oh, smoke is up. Sonic tag. Bomb goes down and he's got a shot. He's got a shot to win this. In a 1v2, he slipped through Tetris and oh, he was close. Close to bringing Huaso Peak down, but that is a huge force by victory coming back from 9Z. Yeah, huge, huge round there from frustration. They still have a lead though, but that means just the pistols now, Dinka. Just the pistols. So we're talking about that 9-5 guarantee. I was lying. Stolas, though, oh, they what? get a little bit of bite. And JBA out of the squeaky door, straight into a kill, but it doesn't look like it's going to get out of hand. There's a great opening, but unable to capitalize on those chances. Now Fuzi left with the Deagle, slipping out through the door smoke, getting into the open, and getting peppered down. So eight to seven. Uh, Walcott had a great opportunity here to develop something real strong at the start of their T side, but that's kind of fallen away after losing against the Force Buy. And they're using an opportunity to sneak in towards outside. Oh, the nade. Second later, and it could have been sus getting sussed out. But he's not gone through. Two players walking on through towards hell. This is perfect timing, Dinko, but Martinez, he finds a set first, and he's aware. He knows there's someone nearby looking for the no scope, but sus will find him. Minute five seconds left in this round, and Wildcard occupied the lobby. DGT descends down to the ground where he'll grab himself one and switch out to the AK-47. Now they're doubled up at Tetris, and DGT is looking at hot uh, a little bit too exposed. Uh, interesting positioning, and his yes. teammate Max nearly makes up for it by getting a double kill, but it leaves it all onto Hwaso Peak to win this out in the 1v2. And he knows Sus was towards hell, right? He got the kill into Martinez, so he's going to be... Okay, he's got a low HP player peeking him first, and he'll nail the headshot without taking aware. damage, and that is the key. Now, Susp goes towards Hot, Hot Peak. Oh, no, he looks the wrong way, and Susp able to hit the headshot. I gotta say, there's a bit of a mistake from 9Z and started that ball. Ooh, DGT. And was, we like to call him Digit, because he likes... No, never mind. I thought that could have been cool. It could have been something there, but uh, JBA. He's unable to get anything done because JBA is just balling out. But it's all a fake. All a bit of a ruse because the upper bomb side hit, but Martinez descends down. Oh, oh, oh that's high. Buddha was there with him, though. Oh. And Buddha gets this fight back going. Oh, he's gonna run out of bullets and he oh. still gets away with it. How has oh. he done that? Buddha back with the USP and it leaves JBA all oh, alone on me. Oh, Stan. He should have had that thing. Stand up for Stan. F's in chat for Stan, but maybe W's in chat for JBA. He's still got 30 seconds. I say JB, you say what? I say JB, you say? A. Yeah. Hey, go to A, JBA. Let's go. He's running up towards the top of Seeker. 24 seconds remaining in the round. Not a whole lot of time anymore and realizes he has to get a move on. He has to sprint. And he will sprint his way into the upper sight. Clears out CT Vent and dies at the hand of Buddha, who a has round. a godly round of four kills picked up. I believe he gets that kill with the USP. So so wholesome today, aren't we? I know, everyone's being so nice. I'm, I'm confused. Well, tomorrow probably will be the opposite. You know, it just happens. It's it's, it's, it's maybe the 9Z and the, and, and the wildcard fans, you know yeah, what I mean? It's the cycle of life. Nine rounds, though, for wildcards. That was, that's what they've got. But it does feel like this play from Max could just break them instantly. And, and um, he dips up. Yeah, now, now we're in a little bit of a problem for a wild card. There's not a whole lot of money left uh, for the side of wildcard. They're kind of liquidated in terms of their cash supply. Max is waiting in heaven, seeing his next victim come out of hut. Minute eight seconds left in the round. AWP close. Nice shot from Fuzi. That's what you like to see. Walker still in this fight. JBA up on top of main roof. Fuzi doing his best, but finally taken out. An 11 round secured for 9Z. No bomb plant either, so money is not in a good spot. No, well, not good enough to get a, a buy into the next. Right? We can celebrate that. It's better than zero. I think they should be Ooh, celebrated. I'd love to drive. Yeah, you should. I, I, I would love to drive a forklift. I don't think I could be trusted. I would not trust you with a forklift. But I think I think it would be really fun. I would just imagine myself being one of the people that drives the forklift in the warehouse and all the boxes just tip and I die in an avalanche of cargo. <laughs> you never find it, me. It, they do have a frame to protect you, Max. Oh, ah! he needs a frame to protect himself. 
And uh, Stannis Law able to get one. That's Buddha's all they've there. got. Buddha, oh. oh, a little bit too much confidence. Oh. A little bit too much. And JBA able to get another one with a deagle. It puts it all on Sussy P. And he's got his little deagle in his hands. He sussed it out. He knows where one is. It doesn't know where the second one is. That oh. is Huasu Peak. All the way to its hell. And he's caught a timing, Dingo. But the bomb is a bit of no man's land. How is going to retrieve it? Martinez with the AWP. They have no idea he's crossed. They have no idea he's crossed. Deagle for another kill. And Susp able to turn this into a 1v1 fight with 55 seconds left. But he's still got to come back out and get that bomb. If he had the bomb in his back, he could have went down to B. He had plenty of options reawakening. Now, Huaso Peak in the meantime, he's had a bit of a quiet map. But he's just hiding in the rafters. This could be his kill. This could be his moment. It's time to shine and give 9Z a 12. This really shouldn't go the other way. Susp has now creeped his way out into the open. Interesting smoke thrown out towards the CT vent. Wasso Peak is going to uh, track him perfectly over the top, and Susp will be frustrated with that one. Oh, okay. Starting to get to the end of the road here for Wildcard. And let's see if it works out for Fuzi. Now Martinez waiting. All five. Should be guaranteed one. Ooh, a little bit of caster curse thrown in there. Martinez going to dive down into the lower bomb site, smash open those control room windows. Oh, four or five seconds on the clock. They have control of the ramp, and they have a few avenues available to them. Fuzi still Paranoid. They didn't leave anyone behind, so they're going to take quite a bit of time to reclaim control towards lobby, but that's exactly what they're going to do. Two players towards the lower bomb site, but still, Max lies in wake towards Mini, and Sonic's coming in. Oh, this could be perfect, Dingo. There's no one watching heaven. Oh, they could be perfect. 25 seconds. Oh, a little bit of a spray, and just one from Buddha, but he knows they're coming, he knows his multiple opponents. 20 seconds. Max, but the time, yeah, you're right, Blood. That is the limiting factor, but Sonic comes in clutch. Headshot to main. Tries to drag out Hwaso Peak, and actually, he doesn't get the kill, but he, he makes sure that Hwaso Peak's bullets are wasted and prolonged to with main, and Martinez comes up the vent and gets annihilated. That is the round picked up for Wildcard. They are not dead yet. They are still in this fight. And DGT is going to try and back away. I don't know if that's too likely now. He's getting pushed from main, and that's going to be sus landing a sick headshot. So 10 rounds, two away from the bonus rounds, two away from OT. Hi guys, Mezzi here. Make sure to sub to ESLCS. Keep right on. Um, right now, just a wild card, just stalling out, being a little slower. Susp, oh, getting close. But it's in front of the flash and the old lineup. Oh, the MP9. I told you it can be an absolute velociraptor. Shredding apart Susp and JBA. Now Martinez doing his classic dive down into the site and Sonic through the smoke. Just starting to spam. But Martinez is it's a over. turret at the back of the site and that is it. 9Z close it out. 13 to 10. A 2 0. It is a huge victory for 9Z over Wildcard. And we thought this could be a three map affair. We thought this was going to be a close battle all the way through, but 9Z have picked up their performance. Wildcard perhaps dropping off a little bit. I'm sure they would have hoped and expected a better performance on Ancient, but at the end of the day, it is a 2-0 victory for 9Z.